This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. Last weekend, senior Ryan Loder returned to the mat after being sidelined much of the season with an injury. The All-American wasted little time making an impact for his team as he pinned his opponent and propelled the Panthers to the victory over 7th ranked Missouri. Loder has been dominant in all four seasons for the Panthers and in his final season he is on a mission to bring the UNI wrestling program even more success. It took just 26 seconds for 5th ranked Ryan Loder to pin the 10th ranked wrestler at 184 pounds in UNI's convincing 24-10 win over Missouri. Those 26 seconds may have been the I'm back statement Panther fans were waiting for. Coming off a season where Loader finished seventh at the NCAAs to earn his first All-American recognition, he wasn't able to push himself in the offseason to get better. He spent the summer months rehabbing from surgery on a lingering injury he wrestled with most of the year. He never has negative thoughts. I mean, the guy got back surgery this year and he pushed through it all last year. He's came back, he's he's going, he's he's never given up. He's always just keep keeps moving forward and wants more and more every time. I've definitely seen him uh, just mature as as an athlete, as a person, as a you know, mature into a leader on our team. Um, he doesn't talk a ton, but when he does, like it, it's thoughtful and you know, and it's dang okay. You, you know, you're right on point. You know, we you you do understand what we're trying to get to. What the team is trying to get to is exactly what Ryan is trying to get to, as high a finish as possible at the NCAA championships. After Loader earned All-American status for the first time in his third trip to the NCAAs, Coach Schwab described Loader as one of the most disappointed All-Americans he's seen. And in Coach's eyes, that's a good thing. He's seconds away from being, you know, steps, steps higher uh, on that. And I think he got that taste of it and he, he broke through and, and got a little bit, but I think he understands that he's capable of so much more and he wants more. I'm not happy at all. I, um... I know I could have done better. Um, I've beaten the guy who beat me before. I've came real close to beating the other guy, and I know I was at least in the top, top one or two in the nation, capability-wise. With over 100 wins in his career, Ryan's capability for his senior season remains unseen. But returning from a month of not wrestling due to injury, Loader still remains undefeated this season. It's his internal drive that's pushing him higher and higher on you and I's career wins list, but it's also pushing his teammates higher, which increases the quality of each weight class. I know that I'm down on this side of the mat wrestling, but I could, I'll look over there and he's going just as hard, if not harder than me, which makes me want to go even harder. So, I mean, we just look around the room and it's like, oh man, I don't want to take a break. I don't want to be the first one to take a break. Ryan's recent success is sure to catch the attention of every 184-pounder with national title aspirations. For Ryan, it's simply the start of a push towards his final go-around at the NCAAs, where he'll look for the opportunity to once again stand as an All-American and possibly a national champion. It's a little stepping stone. I mean, the last two years before that, I got top 12, which is just knocking at the door and finally breaking it down. and actually becoming an All-American, getting that status, it's, it's helped a lot. It's, it's in a great account. There's, there's, a lot of, there's, there's a lot of other guys that, that wish that they were anywhere on that stand. Um, but to know that he expects more of himself and demands more of himself and wants more, you know, that's, that's exciting to me because that's where, that's where we want to take the program.